Come along with me to a holiday theme park filled with Christmas lights and rides. Then I reveal what I got for Christmas. So I'm going to a park later that has Christmas lights and a Ferris wheel apparently. So hopefully I can get on that Ferris wheel and won't be too busy, but it's getting closer to Christmas, so I don't know. But this outfit I created for my holiday outfit video, I really liked it and I really wanna wear it out. But in the video I had this beanie on, which I like, but I found this reindeer earmuffs. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh, that's to be cute to wear, you know, right before Christmas. So uh, let me see, does it match? It should go for the Christmas theme, right? Honestly, I don't think it goes with it because of the plaid. I guess I'm back to my original plan because I wanted to wear the earmuffs. Also, it is cold today. Surprisingly, I feel like this is the coldest winter we had in a while. So I'm gonna bring my cardigan in case I get cold. Now I'm on my way to the park and it's already dark. <laughs> I didn't mean to rhyme. <laughs> it's only six o'clock. It's been getting dark earlier, but it's perfect for the Christmas lights that are going to be there. Oh my gosh, I see the Ferris wheel from here. It's so big. Hopefully I get to go on it this time. The parking was terrible, I gotta say. We couldn't find a parking spot for like 10 minutes. Once we found a parking spot, I finally got to see the Christmas lights and decorations. It was pretty and it looks so much better in person. Again, it's pretty busy and everyone's taking pictures in front of the Christmas things like this cool candy cane chair. Like literally there was lines for taking pictures. <laughs> so I didn't have time for that. But I did want to try out my Sony camera in the dark. So I took some pictures with it and I don't think they turn out that bad. You can find me under the tree. This Christmas tree doesn't even light up all the way. It just looked odd and I was waiting for it to light up but it never did all the way. I wonder if it's broken. <laughs> what is that? Why is there a chandelier? It looks like it's floating. Obviously it's probably uh, stringed up, but it looks like it's floating in the sky, <laughs> which is weird. Why is there just a chandelier in the middle of the sky? Well, I'm not gonna ask questions. Maybe it's because it's Christmas lights, I know. I know. So every year I usually do the s'mores but this year I didn't want to get messy because it's so messy every year I do it. And I want to save money for the Ferris wheel. The ticket for the Ferris wheel was $6 and there was no line to get the tickets. I have been on one for years and I remembered I liked it. But this one is huge. So big. Bigger than the one I went on last time. Luckily the line to go on it wasn't too long. So I did get to go on it and it was wobbly and I was too afraid to record on it. But I did take a few selfies and a clip on it real quick while it wasn't moving. We are stuck. I just gotta say the ride was short and underwhelming. I guess it was more fun when I was younger. Oh yeah, I remember when I did get off the ride, a girl complimented my outfit and said she liked it. That lifted my mood instantly, especially after that ride. A little compliment can go a long way for people. So I am glad I finally got to go on the Ferris wheel, even though it was lame. I didn't think it was worth going on the other rides with how many people were there and they're all kiddie rides anyways. I feel like sometimes it's nice to dress up and go out for the holidays. Just going to the park is free, but the parking is what the real challenge is. If you do want to go on the rides or do the activities, you have to pay for it. But if it's something you really want to do, it's gonna be worth it unless it's gonna break your bank or if the line is super long. Let me share with you what I got for my family and friends and also what I got for myself. So let me back up a little bit so we can see the presents. I was thinking we should start with like the beauty and hair products I got. Some of them already opened of course because I already wanted to use them before recording this video. Got some lip balm. Perfect for winter, so I, my lips don't be chapped. I really wanted this. I already tr been using it, and I gotta say, I already like it, because I had the trial size for the Burt's Bees uh, face wash, and it's for sensitive skin, that's why I really like it. And this one has aloe in it, 
So I really like it. It's very, like it says, gentle. And then it comes with lip balm as well. And the body lotion. So I, it's very liquidy. I gotta say the body lotion, when you open it, it just comes right out. I wonder it's because it has the aloe in it. I really like it. I, you know, I recommend it. So, oh, another thing for my skin is the day cream and night cream vitamin C from Dead Sea. <laughs> Why is it called Dead Sea? Um, apparently it has Dead Sea minerals in it, so that's why. Uh, I've been trying it out and it hasn't irritated my skin, so I've been liking it. I never tried their brand before, so we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Okay, let's do the this bag. Let's see. Okay, so these are both conditioners. So here's some conditioner my mom got me for my hair. Oh my gosh, I didn't even realize. This one says with natural Dead Sea minerals. So that kind of goes with my vitamin C cream. So we'll see how that goes. Another thing for my hair. It's like this, I, I don't know where it's the, the thing it came with, what it's called. It's like a silk cap, over nine cap you wear to bed. And I actually had one in the past, but I lost it. <laughs> Cause you know, it, it, mine was black. That's why I probably lost it. This one's green. So it's gonna kind of be hard to miss. And I tried it the other day. My hair was so soft from just using it one night. I'm like, I literally forgot to use it the night after that. And my hair was still soft from that night. I'm like, wow, I gotta start using this more. We got some makeup brushes. Cannot get enough of those. And they're green, I guess like for Christmassy, you know. Mentioning makeup, I did get myself this and this to organize my makeup or jewelry, depending on what fits. Cause they have a sale on Timu right now. I even ordered more of these cause they're so, you know, so cheap. I don't know if this one was 62 cents, but I got one for 62 cents recently. So I'm gonna have two more coming in. And then this big guy might've been a little bit more money, like $2 right now or three, I don't remember, but it's a, a big one. So it's gonna fit like the big stuff. I just dropped some of the drawers, but it's okay. I'll get it later. I haven't organized it yet. So I'm gonna do that when I have some time. These holidays been crazy. I've been like out every day. So if you're wondering why I haven't got any videos out as much, I haven't really had the time, but I wanted to share with you what I got. Okay, so we could do the jewelry then. I have it in here. We got a ring, butterfly ring. I think it fits this finger and a bracelet and a hair clip. I haven't worn the hair clip yet, but I've worn the bracelet and the ring actually on Christmas because my mom gave this to me on Christmas Eve. And then I wore my Santa hat and of course this shirt because it's my Christmas t-shirt this year. I actually wore on Christmas, but I really like this. It wasn't um, a set. It didn't come together, but um, she it's like a little theme, butterflies. And I like butterflies, so she she knew that I liked them. All right, so moving on to this bag now. We can do these. <laughs> okay, so I got this for myself. These are hangers. Uh, I just thought it was super cute. Here's the, the side with the bows, because they have bows. Um, it was on sale, of course, on Timu. I keep getting stuff from Timu because they're so affordable and I like the stuff I get from there. Just buy it myself. You know, that just shows I, I like their products, regardless, even if they sponsor me, right? I got two packs, which comes with two each, and it, they're actually random. You can't even pick. So leopard print and the flowers, which I really wanted the flower one, so works out and a cool, fun one as well. So next we'll do some clothes. Um, I'm pretty sure they're all thrifted. So, so my mom got me these shorts for pajamas around the house, lounge, or just to go out real quick. You know, you can never have enough of those. Comfy shorts, I, I like comfy shorts. They're cute and comfy. What's not to love about them? <laughs> Don't ask me what happened. Cause remember the boho, I'm, you know, I still like boho, but I'm not like, that's not my lifestyle. Just, that's just a look I like to dress up as. So she got me this hat, but it kind of reminds me of like, I don't know, like an Indian for some reason, not a boho, but we'll see if I can wear it this winter. All right. So another thing she thrifted me was actually these pajama pants. 
pink flannel. I know, I'm obsessed with it. I can't, I didn't even think of it. I should have got this a long time ago. And it, it works well with my Christmas shirt because it's Mary Pigmas and pigs are pink. I really like it and it's warm. It's nice out right now, so. Well, not really nice. It's been rainy, but makes it where the sun's not out. <laughs> I got some socks, uh, fuzzy socks, so perfect for winter, cold, just throw them on. Ooh, so we got some slippers as well with hearts. I, you know, I like hearts, so that's probably why my mom got me these slippers. You know, around the house, I like to wear slippers, so it's always good to have a pair of slippers to throw on. Some other things while I was at Goodwill. Is it in here? Yeah. So I was at Goodwill and I've been needing a tripod. Like one that can like turn your phone to the regular way to record for like a TikTok, for example. I only have the one that does um, horizontal, not vertical. But I saw this at Goodwill. It was only $2.99. I'm like, mom, get me this for Christmas. And she got me it. But I gotta say, it's not that sturdy. Maybe because my phone is big, it's heavy, so I'm at for big phones. But in the picture, it shows a big phone. But it is sideways, so I wonder, what's the point of being able to turn it that way if you can't hold it still? It's so, I gotta say, I don't recommend the tripod from Goodwill, okay? So it's just temporarily again, because I've been rigging my other tripods to record a TikTok. So if you see sometimes why it's, if it's crooked, or not the same ever because it's moving because it's not on a real tripod for it. I wonder how much they are, the wine openers. Because we saw this at Goodwill, I, I, wanted the, I asked my mom to get me one because I kind of broke the one we I had here. You know, I know you're not supposed to open a champagne bottle with this, but it was stuck. So we tried, me and my sister tried to open, not with this, a different one that was not as good as this. And when it come up, we were so weak. Usually we have our dad open it, but he was at work and we couldn't figure out how to open the champagne bottle, okay? So I got this, it was only $2 at Goodwill. So I'm like, should be harder to break this, right? <laughs> okay, so we got a water bottle or whatever I wanna put in it. And then this one I think is for hot stuff, probably like coffee or I wonder if I could just put my protein shake in here, but I don't know if I can shake it in here because there's no, well it does close. I might be able to shake it in here. So that's good to have another one because I feel like if that one's dirty, then I can't use it. So if I have two, I don't have to worry about that. Oh, okay. Okay, now we're done with that bag and I got two new mini backpacks. Aww. Cause I've been loving that style. So people knew that I wanted to get more. Cause I got one from Timu not too long ago. And it's definitely not as high quality as these. They look more fancy and bougie. So it's for those kind of outfits, more dressed up. The Sunflower one I have is meant probably more for a casual outfit, but you can still wear this for casual, I'm sure. And the black one's gonna match a lot more things. And then we got the pink one for like light color outfits. Speaking of pink, they also got me this light pink handbag and a pink wallet. Uh, it's like roses on it. And then we got this little guy. I'm like, I'm like, is that for like change like the old people do? My mom's like, yeah. I'm like, oh my gosh. I mean, it's I guess it's handy if you just put your change in here so then you don't have to go digging for change. You have this little guy. Next, I didn't mention it yet, but my mom, thrifted this Christmas tree. Of course, we didn't get it till closer to Christmas, so I didn't really get to record with it. It might, I think it's gonna be my next video as well, but that's probably all, cause it's um, not Christmas anymore. But it was cool. I, I'm gonna probably definitely use it for next year. I got this ornament with my name on it. I haven't put it on yet, so let's put it on. And then lastly, I don't even know if I can show it on camera right here. This is probably the mu as much as I can show it right now because I don't want to put it on my bed. But this cow print um, cube, I'm not sure what you call it. It's for decoration and my mom thrifted it. So she knew I've been liking like the the Western style cowgirl thing. So I feel like it looked cute like next to my cowboy boots or something. So that was all my Christmas gifts I got this year and my little holiday vlog with the Christmas lights. 
and rides. And I hope you guys did have a Merry Christmas and got what you wanted. Or at least spent time with family or friends. Because that's what matters during the holidays, I feel like. Because not everybody can afford gifts. So if you have your family or friends, I feel like you still have a good Christmas. Have a blessed day, and I'll see you next year. Bye, guys!